Oh, it's so frustrating when you go to the lectures and you just don't understand. It's so annoying. Hello everybody, welcome to the Notability YouTube channel. My name is Olivia and I'm a third year medical student and I have always struggled with anatomy. I've always struggled with it from the moment I got to medical school. I found it so hard to visualize things, remember things, remember the names of a thousand different muscles and it was just always something I struggled with and I found that my conventional method of taking normal handwritten paper notes just wasn't working for me anymore. However I decided to invest in an iPad and it is the best decision I've ever made and I am now a completely paperless student and it has really really changed the game. I'm hitting those top marks I have a really really good comprehensive set of notes and I really want to show you how I make these. So I'm a very creative person and I've always loved drawing and coloring and having lots of different colors and so having an iPad works really well for me and I've explored loads of different programs but the one I'm particularly enjoying and now use for all of my notes is Notability. So for today's video I'm going to show you how I make my aesthetic but comprehensive set of anatomy notes in medical school. So I'm going to take you through exactly how I make my notes using Notability and show you all the different features that Notability has to offer. So without further ado, let's go! As I said earlier, I've always been a very creative person and I always find myself gravitating towards a set of colourful pens to sketch out any anatomy that I can. Whether it's sketching out a pelvis during dissection class or coming home and trying to paint the brachial plexus to try and understand the complicated set of nerves, I've always tried to make my notes really, really visual. Whilst it gives me an enormous sense of gratification to make a beautiful set of paper-based notes, I was quickly finding out that my time in medical school unfortunately was not infinite and it was just an extremely inefficient way of making my set of anatomy notes. And so I started to think of alternative options, especially because I was finding it increasingly difficult to look up bits of information from a stack of 200 bits of paper. And so that is when I switched to digital note making. Wasting all my time worried about you, it's getting So step one of my note making process is to take down some lecture notes. So I have the lecture open on the left hand side of the screen and then I take down my notes on the other side. And then I move on to use my favourite resource for anatomy which is called Teach Me Anatomy. It's a real popular website amongst medical students, it's completely free and it just really summarises all the anatomy that you have to know in a really succinct manner and it also puts things into a clinical context for you so that you can understand when you'll be applying this anatomy in a hospital based setting. Wherever possible, I try and hand draw all of my diagrams because I feel like it really helps my learning process and it just helps things stick that much better. The app I use for this is called Procreate and the reason I like Procreate so much is because it really simulates what painting feels like and I love painting and I really miss painting when I come to taking digital notes so I really really like being able to get a bit arty with it. As you can see I haven't labelled this heart because I like to do that in the next app which is Notability which is where I put all of my notes together and it makes the final product. Organising your notes in Notability is so easy because you can create different sections and you can even add in different subdividers. You can choose from a multitude of different paper colours, different paper types. I personally really like to use the squared paper because I think it makes it easiest to keep my lines straight and to draw. So the first thing I do is I create a title and I'm not too creative with my titles. I kind of just put a bit of highlighter and then I draw over that. It's just what I like to do and it doesn't take much time. And I really like how on Notability you can resize things, you can edit things, change the colours, change the orientation, it's so useful. One of the features that I also really like is you can just erase the highlighter or just erase the text, whatever you prefer. I really like that it doesn't delete everything, it's always the little things. 
And then I'm going to be adding in some media into this document. So I'm going to add in the picture of the heart that I drew. I'm adding it from my iPad, but you can also add it straight from the web. It's so, so easy. And again, you can resize it all, crop it, whatever you want to do, change your orientation, just get creative with it. So I'm just going to resize this just so it's easier to move things around. So I like to just crop around it. And obviously my paper is currently squared, but I will change it later on. But I find squared is the easiest when it comes to actually writing the notes. And then there are so many different pen options, so many different colors and thickness and different pens that you can use. I really, really like to get creative with it. If you're not wanting to handwrite things or you don't like the look of your handwriting, you can also draw text boxes, which I often do. And I really like using this to put in labels because I just think they look really clear and you can highlight them, whatever you choose to do. And then here I am just resizing the text because it was a little bit big for my liking. So that's what I'm doing here. One of Notability's really unique features, which I absolutely love, is the fact that you can record any sounds that are going on around you and it can sync these with your notes. So I can record anything I'm saying if I want to remind myself of a helpful mnemonic. The arch of the aorta ends at the T4 vertebral level. The arch of the aorta ends at the T4 vertebral level. But what I think is even more cool is if you're in a lecture, for example, you could record the lecturer speaking and it will sync with when you write your note. The arch of the aorta ends at the T4 vertebral level. So I think this is a really, really cool feature. If you don't have recorded lectures, it makes it that much easier to remember exactly what was going on. There are so many different brushes that you can use on Notability. Some are pressure sensitive like this one, so the thickness will change depending on how hard you're pushing. And others, if you just want a fixed thickness, you can just have that and it will just draw as normal. So here you can see me writing out my notes. So I tend to do the same sort of highlighted titles and then I just get creative and I start writing out the key bits of information. I really like to change the colors of the pens I'm using to make things stand out. And I really like using bullet pointed lists too. So I'm going to be inserting some more images. I inserted something to help me remember the vertebral levels of the different vessels, which I always forget. And then I moved on to writing about the valves of the heart. I'm much more of a sort of diagram based person. So I learn more from looking at diagrams than I do text. So I've drawn my own diagrams again in Procreate and I'm just inserting them here with any necessary annotations that I want to add in. And I've got some arrows in here to show the direction of blood flow. And then I decided I wanted to insert an image of an ECG. ECGs are not my strong point. I find them very difficult to interpret. So I'm just trying to kind of familiarize myself with them so that hopefully it'll be a bit of a pattern recognition kind of thing. And the more I see them, the more I'll know which one it is. So I've got an image here of a left bundle branch block. It's so easy to insert into my notes. I literally just copy it and then paste it. And there it is no reformatting, no complicated searching through files for anything. It is so, so simple. You can also directly paste things from your MacBook. So for example, if you're on your laptop and you found an image you liked, you could screenshot it and click paste straight to Notability, which I think saves so much time. You don't have to worry about saving anything and it's just so easy. Another feature I absolutely love is the ability to import clips into your notes. That's definitely not something you can do with physical notes and is something that really makes electronic notes stand out. So I wanted to insert a clip of how to interpret ECGs in case I ever forget. Hopefully I won't, but I feel like you just learn so much that it's easy to forget the basics. So I dragged it straight from YouTube into my notes and it's just here and I can reference it later on if I want to. I can crop around the video so that I only have the portion that I want. It's so, so handy. So that's pretty much everything I do to create my colorful set of aesthetic notes. I think these notes are great because they're so clear, they're succinct and they have everything I need in one place, complete with all forms of media, be it videos, images, drawings, everything. And I absolutely love the process and they're really, really nice to revise from as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do make sure you give it a like and comment down below how you take notes in medical school. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you haven't already and have a lovely day.